Welcome to Tagua.io, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new device emulator. To start off, let's add a device. In this example, we'll add a custom HTTP device. Now, we can go to the device emulator to simulate sending data from our device to our bucket as if it was sent by a real device. In the device emulator, you can decide to use JSON or RAW. And in this demonstration, we'll be using JSON, which is native to Tagoio. We can take a look at some provided examples by clicking on the load a sample dropdown. And for any of these examples, we can edit its field. And as long as we are sending a payload with at least a variable field, we should be good to go. The new device emulator introduces functions that are helper variables that you're able to add to your payload. For example, the variable random that you can add to your payload will generate a random number from 0 to 100, and with the new view formatted payload button, you can see exactly what generated number will be sent in your payload just before sending it. And to actually send your payload on the new device emulator, just click on the reposition green send payload button on the bottom right of the screen. And with the new device emulator, you're also able to add a timer to automatically send your payload at a fixed time interval of 5, 10, or 30 seconds, and 1 or 5 minutes and you can quickly visualize when your next payload will be sent by looking at the countdown on the send button itself. And to simply turn off your timer, just click on the timer icon again or close your tab. So if you want your timer to continuously send data, make sure to keep this tab open. And great, now you have variables sending seemingly real data inside your buckets so that you can create dashboards, analyses, and more. And to learn more, visit tago.io.